to look at one of the ways we can make money through agriculture. God has blessed us with land, with water. What do we make out of it? It's unfortunate today we record high level of poverty because we are not putting our hands to what we're supposed to do to end living. I'm welcoming you today to my channel. I ask for your favor. Subscribe to this channel. Like the video. Share the video. I'm going to look at Fugu vegetable farming. Why should we go into Ogo vegetable production. Ogo is a, veget a leguminous vegetable that is in high demand used in making soup, rich in vitamins and protein and used in making smoothie. We have health challenges that uh, require blood most time the doctors recommend that go and take fugu vegetable. Within one week of taking this vegetable, you'll be surprised about the level of blood you are going to acquire. It is used in a cooking soup. The demand is very high in Nigeria. Every ethnic Group here is the Ogo. And the market is very is there. It's something that you use on daily basis. But the problem is that the production is low compared to the demand. And today I'm going to tell you what to look for. How to produce Ogo in a way to earn income. Apart from your own use, personal use, you are going to produce it and earn income. I make a lot of money on daily basis from this vegetable. Every time people call in asking for this vegetable, knocking at my gate, people come to buy over here on daily basis. Those that are selling in the market, they come here. The demand is very high. I want to encourage you to go into Ubu production. It's going to enhance your finance. If you are the type that depends only on your salary, every month without being the salary being paid, you will not have money. This is a business for you. If you are looking for a job and the job is not forthcoming, this is a business for you. If you want to support your husband, you want to support your uh, spouse and you don't know the business to go into this a business for you so we're going to consider a lot of steps to take for you to get the ogo uh, to go into ogo production number one the species the species. the species of Ogu is very important. 
If you get a wrong species, you will spend your energy, your time, and at the end of the day, you will not get good output that will commensurate with your input. So space, there are a lot of species available. But getting the right species, as you can see from my farm, how do we know the right species? The leaf. The leaf is always very big. Let me cut one from this. You can see. You can see the leaf. This is how to one of the ways to know the right species. So when you want to get the ogre that you want to plant, go and check the parent uh, leaf. And that will help you to choose. You can see the leaf, plenty leaf. This is a hot weather. You can see even at the hot weather, you can see the leaf. No fertilizer and it's strong. You can stay like this for two, three days without having any issue. That's number one, getting the right species. Number two is planting. When you get the right species, you have to learn how to plant. You will do what is called nursery. Remove the seed from the pot. After removing the seed from the pot, let it dry and dry it for a period of 24 hours and gather it in one place. Put the point, you see the pointed head, put it downward. Concentrate them in one place, localize them. Pour water. I'm going to show you in this video uh, a sample of it. Pour water for some days and it will uh, uh, grow up within 14 days. After that, you now go into where do I plant the seed? Where do I plant? Which is number two. The soil. What type of soil make the vegetable a good one? How do I get the best? What is its soil type? And if you want to go into ogre farming, one important factor or secret I want to let you know is what is called raised bed. Raised bed. You can see here, this is a raised bed. This place is like uh, 5 feet by 7 feet in this small space. What I'm going to get from this small space is going to be bigger than what I get from one plot of land. I localize it in this very raised bed. And I fill this place with compost. Compost. Manure. Compost manure. The manure from pig and then the soil. Mix everything together. Fill it with this place. And you You'll be surprised see how they are doing no fertilizer organic so plant in a raised bed put make your raised bed plant your ogo in a raised bed and it's going to give you continuous output over a period of two years and more continuous output it's going to give you an output that will cover the whole area number three when you have made your raised bed, you are going to uh, make trellis, trellis, where they are going to grow. By the time they are started growing, organize the trellis, organize where they will be growing, the trellis, where they will be growing. It will make free climbing. As they are growing, spreading themselves on the trellis that you made for them, they are going to uh, give you results on hinders. And then uh, another important 
factor is cutting. By the time you, uh, you have the ogo has grown, there's a way, techniques of uh, cutting, which I'm going to cover in uh, another video. So I encourage you, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Hit on the notification button so that anytime I make a video, you'll be notified. Like the video and share the video. Thanks for watching.